So hello, my name's Tony, and you're watching another episode of Drink About It Raleigh. And we're here at our house on a special day, Easter, like most people on the front lines of the social scene of Raleigh. Uh, we kind of sacrifice our holidays so that other people can have a good time. But at the end of the day, like most other servers and people in the restaurant industry, we end up drinking about it. So tonight, we're drinking margaritas, right? Margarita. Margarita. It's for you, Fappy. Anyway, today I wanted to bring you on the show because uh, Anne Marie is uh, a really cool citizen of Raleigh. In addition to being a great uh, co worker and a great server with me, uh, she does some really cool things. Uh, so, one thing in particular you recently started doing is uh, beekeeping. Can you tell us yeah. about that? So, I have a friend whose full time career is managing beehives around the Triangle area. Okay. So, from my friend, he's trying to expand the colonies and in order to do that he has to have the space or the property to do that so he's asking other people in our social circle to use the or use the land to have these apiaries or the beehives on their property to build the colonies which in the end product is to like increase the bee population which is dwindling which everyone should be aware of so each beehive does it have its own its own queen yes so okay. each beehive has its own queen which recently, last Sunday, our... That's so cool. Like, how do you do that? So you can cultivate the queens from one hive, okay. and you can save them and pretty much, literally just put them in another hive, and wow. they will reproduce. They them. recognize her as the queen. Correct. So how many bees do you have in your hive? Oh, my gosh. Uh, upwards of 30,000. So is that pretty typical of any standard? Yes. They can range anywhere from a few thousand to tens of thousands. Will you get honey from this hive? Soon. If they have the flowers to eat from, it'll take two months, two to three months. So we're expecting honey in two months. What are you going to do with the honey? I'm going to eat it. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, I haven't been around for the cultivating process, but from what I've been told, it'll be about, I don't know, a half gallon jar per hive. Can I try some? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it also depends on what flowers I have in our front yard because the honey will taste different depending on what I'm growing. So they're going to be flying around your yard. Yes, okay. <laughs> they come in the house okay. sometimes. I was stung recently, that wasn't fun, but I was told to get used to it and like toughen up with it. So in addition to uh, beehiving, you also do uh, clay sculpting, pottery. Pot 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 Can you guys see this? This is really cool. Like, I don't know what this is, but it's a nice such texture. Uh, this is actually an unfinished product. Uh, you've just spun it and then detailed it right here. Uh, you should have to paint it. And then glaze it. Glazing it. Glazing is the next step. This is greenware. It's in its most sensitive state. So I studied sculpture in college, and I want to be a part-time artist, eventually turn into full-time artist life. And in order to do that, you have to make the work. So I, I have to spend many, many nights and days alone with just Wait, there's... Oh, wow. I don't know if you can check this out, but this is really cool on the bottom. I had no idea. Each bottom is different, too. That is really fucking cool. I like your signature. I like it. Thank you. All right. So, you spin these yourself on the wheel? I do. So, it's, the term is called throwing on the wheel. So, you wedge clay to get air bubbles out, and you throw it on the wheel, and they're slick and uncarved, and then you let them dry to what's called the leather state. I use carving tools, and that's where we ended up with this. And so how long does it take on the wheel? Like, how long are you there spinning? I can make, I can pretty much bang out 20, sh like, silhouettes of mugs in three or four hours. The carving takes about an hour each. The goal for me is to become a production potter, which is what I was taught how to set up for myself when I was a student. Production potter. So production potter, you are the workhouse. You create multiple pots of the same shape or size or concept, and you make several of them, and then you sell them in large quantities. Uh, so anyway, if you want these, can, can people buy these from you? Yes, I'm working on my online store right now. Okay. AnnemarieVallea.com. AnnemarieVallea.com. <laughs> uh, anyway, I had a great time uh, talking with you. I really enjoyed it. But I see you switch to PBR, which PBR is one of my favorite beers. You're growing from my own heart. Uh, is there another PBR somewhere? Can I get one? Uh, here we go. PBR. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. You know what? what what's your favorite drink? Like, Bourbon on the rocks. You, Bourbon on the you're rocks. Like, you're like my uh, fast, easy, warm, and quick. Yes! Oh, Thank you! Shit, like yeah. magic. There we go. I do my little shake, the little like stir it around, liquefy it a little bit, and. Wait, that's the real. Oh. 
Hey, you know, three days, three drinks. One more, sir. One, two, three. Mm, that's good. Oh my god. See, I love bourbon on the rock. So, all right. So we have one of my favorite things. Uh, but you know, we have one question. So we're going to try and ask everybody that comes on the show this question. Uh, what is your favorite song? Top top notch. Top favorite song is called "Catch Me at the Creek" by Billy Strings and Don Julius. Now, who is Billy Strings? He's super young, bluegrass guitar player who plays the guitar as fast as possible. And I do have my uh, my cut off <laughs> things here, like. <laughs> Cheers. You know what, Amory? Thank you so much for uh, doing this. I love talking with you. I love working with you. Thank, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, my friend. <laughs>